guys, just a quick little announcement to let you know that today is April 11th, 2015, which means it is the 45th anniversary of the day Apollo 13 launched to the moon, which means, you guessed it, I am doing another live tweet. So for those of you who haven't followed these things in the past, my live tweets are basically going through the, uh, the mission transcripts and taking either big mission events or just interesting little bits of dialogue and tweeting them at the time they happened in the mission with a 45 year time delay. For me, it's a really interesting way to commemorate a mission. You can read an article about it and know what happened and then go about your day. But live tweeting it and seeing the tweets coming into your feed, I think will maybe give you a sense of just how much downtime there was going to the moon and just how slowly disasters like Apollo 13's did actually unfold. Because you can watch the movie and see it all happen in an hour and a half or two hours, but really it was a five day event and it got pretty intense. So be sure to follow me, AST Vintage Space, on Twitter. I'll be using the hashtag Apollo13. There will be a ton of photos and a ton of tweets. I'm warning you right now, I think Apollo 12 had something like 700 tweets. If you have any questions about the mission as it goes along or are sort of curious about something you've seen in the movie or maybe read about somewhere else, um, leave me a question below in the comment section or catch me on Twitter and I'll try to answer as best I can. Um, and if you have any personal stories to share about having met the crew, about having seen the launch, about remembering the mission, the drama as it unfolded when you were a kid growing up or maybe a young adult growing up, um, let me know because I love these kinds of stories. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are up for a live tweet and reliving Apollo 13 with a 45 year time delay. See you guys on Twitter.